in Edgar Martinez Drive. Welcome to T-Mobile Park. MLB The Show brings you the MLB All-Star Game. It's the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Just about set to go now. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Spencer Strider. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And a pitch. Strider. He has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We head back in Seattle. And our pitcher in this game, Shohei Otani. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Got him swinging. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when. But two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's a two on. And there's a strike. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. A Rosarena makes the grab on the run. We'll head to inning number two. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Breaks his bat, pops it up. Freeman puts it away, and there's one down. So now it's Corey Seager. One down, base is empty. Just missed. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And the righty deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of the start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate, or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt his pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. Kicks and fires. He struck him out looking. So they go quietly. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado, for all of the success he's had at the plate and all the All-Star appearances, singing he's won the Gold Glove every year that he has been in the league. He's going to go down as one of, if not the greatest defensive third baseman of all time. Righty delivers. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Right 
strike. Pitch in for a strike. Two and two. Well, he's one of those players, if you're on the opposing team, you essentially say, don't hit it to third. Don't even try to bunt it to third because you're going to be out. He is that prolific as a third baseman. 2-2 two -two now. Good eye right there. No score here in the second. In the air, right side. Judge has it sized up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting six. Now it's J.D. Martinez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Yeah, now two balls no, and a strike. Not, Pretty ball. easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Two and one to J.D. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. NL goes down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Softly because you like the gas tank up. And Mr. Softy's in the wind and ain't feeling you. See, every time you see me, I got something new. Welcome back. And now here is Yandy Diaz. The first base. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take. And it gets by him. You know, I was watching his rounds during Batting batting right practice today. So run, impressed run, run, with his ability to let the ball travel or go back up the middle in the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's Josh Young. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to Arcia. That's one. And that's two. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. And here is Jonah Heim. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll moves towards it. Tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, bottom of the inning. And here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. Next offering is fouled back. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. From the Atlanta Braves. That's the Orlando Arcia. Here's Orlando Arcia. Ball and a strike. Started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. The next offering nope. misses. It's two and two. It's a good take. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. This is Corbin Carroll. This one popped up. Diaz makes the catch. That is the inning. Nine straight retired here to start the game. On to inning number four. We're tied. Back in Seattle, here is Marcus Simeon. Out to short. 
Arcia whips it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Shohei Otani. Went down on strikes his first time through. And a 1-1. And there's a foul ball. 1-2 now. Got it by him for the K. Here's Trout. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That You're one right. in for a strike, two and two. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Ready to go, bottom Ready four. Go. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. In the air, left field. The Rosarena moving under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Up next to the National League, the right field. Here's Mookie now. Grounded out to short this first trip. Chris Mookie Betts has turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. A former MVP, multiple gold gloves, multiple all-stars, and he's also a really good bowler. Yeah, extremely competitive. This is a guy that's won one. multiple 300 games and not an easy thing to do. Swing and a miss. Two, two and two now. Singy, what's your high game? Yeah, about 234. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. That one is absolutely belted back there. And that ball is out of here. Freddie Freeman the opposite way. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark you want to bottle that type of approach so two away with nobody on and next will be the cleanup hitter Nolan Arenado he was a strikeout victim his first time checks his swing now it appeal to first and that's going to be ruled a swing Two two now. Just trying to protect, keep the at bat alive. Righty to the plate. Swing and a pop up. Simeon makes the grab, and that is the third out of the inning. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Aaron Judge. And the pitch. 
And a good eye there. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Two balls, two strikes. The line to kick the pitch. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. The throw, nicely done for the out. Number five, shortstop, Corey. Seager. Seager stands in now. He's 0 for 1. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Bounced up the middle. Arcia. On to first. And that quickly two away. Now no left field. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. Come back into the mound. Into the outfield. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now back. The first base hit. Only two Yo, hits allowed so far tonight, Boo, yeah. so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Yandy Diaz now. One for one with a single so far. Runner! A Rosarena on the move. On the ground to third. A Renato to first, in time. And that is that. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. National Leaguer is out in front, one to nothing. Ready to go for the last Leading half of the inning. Luis Arise stands in. Second base. Luis. Oh, oh yeah. Can't glove it cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. The designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez stands in. His first at bat was a strikeout. Chris, that 2018 Red Sox team that won it all, J.D. Martinez was a vital cog in that offensive machine. Of course, Mookie Betts on that team as well, but Martinez led the majors with 130 runs batted in. He was outstanding. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Sean Murphy. Struck out swinging his first time. Yeah, and he was the guy that other players fed off of. I mean, his level of intensity and focus and preparation, paying attention to video, batting oh. practice video, going back in afterwards, his teammates fed off of it, and I think that's what elevated the offense. Fouls one off, two and two. <laughs> Stays alive. Next pitch misses, and it's three and two. Orlando Arcia up next. Two outs. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Orlando Arcia now at the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Murphy off of first with two away. The 1-1 is fouled off. The one two bounce to the right side takes it himself play made that ends the inning so it's no runs no hits no errors and one left on five innings complete the NL leads this one one to nothing welcome back now the third baseman Josh Young the third baseman That misses. Oh. Ball two. And a 
another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Hammered on the line, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Here's the throw. And he's there with a double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. No outs, runner on second. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pulls it down, and they're two away. Shohei Otani getting ready to hit. This guy has turned into a beast. Next one misses, and the count is three and one. And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. He was 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. On a strike, the pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That one's in there, and that is strike two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. In the air, right field. Betts on the move. Grabs it on the run. And that will end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit. Bottom of the sixth inning. Leading now, on, Corbin Carroll. No left field. Corbin Carroll. Good eye right there. Started to swing, held up. Left hand batter waits. Come back into the mound. To first, one away, bottom of the sixth. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah, the right-hander deals late okay. that time, and it's strike two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Mookie to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Right-hander kicks, deals. That misses. Two balls and a strike. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at-bat, get deep. Whatever it takes, get on first base. There's a swing and a drive. Trout ranges back. Back some more. Gone. He sends a rocket to left, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. 
awesome job of the play. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's already homered in this game. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And it's two zip. Back at T-Mobile Park. Now it's the right fielder, Aaron Judge. The one, two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. This to third. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh no via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Seeger checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went around according to Clyde Washington. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena, one for two. The one-one. Fought off foul. The one-two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going. Got him swinging. American League goes down. Bottom of the seventh. Here's Nolan Arenado. And here it comes. Out towards right center field. Trout settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. Left-hand hitter waits. So now one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Number 78 appears to be getting loose. Kirby getting loose as well. In the air, out towards right center. Trout sizing it up. Pulls it in on the run. Two down. Now the And Martinez. Martinez. Hit hard, that gets through. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he now smoked it. that ball. The new pitcher in the game, Pablo Lopez. You're right. Just trying to keep this one close now, here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Pablo. Right side, that's and Lopez. that's just foul. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Snuck the fastball. Now at the plate, Yandy Diaz. The first base, Yandy. The one one. Diaz gets him to chase after that one. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Throw on to Freeman. One up, one down. Well, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Next offering misses, three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three, one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And that's in for a strike. So the ball really well today. That two-seam fastball has got good run on it. Excellent job of moving it around the plate. Lifted in the air, right center field. 
and makes the grab and there are two down now catcher here's the catcher Jonah Heim the 2-1 they say it went. Two and two's the count. Next uh -oh. pitch just misses. And now it's three and two. Marcus Simeon up next for the American League. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One, two, three goes the AL. And there. And welcome back. On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. The pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch for the out. Now the left fielder, Corbin, Corbin Carroll. Corbin. The pitch. Ah. And a strike in there. Up and That's in. Two ball. balls, two strikes. Really good two. take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And there's two away. Here's Acuna now. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. And that's in for a strike. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. Next offering is foul back. One and two now on Acuna. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Simeon sizes this one up, makes a nice running catch. And that's the third out. So they turn to their closer, Josh Hader. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Here's a 1-1. Center field. Bets on the move. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Shohei Otani, the next to hit. And now the lefty fouls it off, still one and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Got him. That's out number two. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's a 1-1. Next offering ball. misses down and away. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. Three one. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. And he deals. And that clips the inside corner. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. you got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Oh, he's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it and hit it hard at the distance. But just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment, let it travel a little more, and see if you can keep that thing fair. You can stomach a two out of a certain player, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. The tying run at the plate. 
Swung on, belted. That's back. He's got it. Ball game. And the National League All-Stars claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch. The final one.